At IBC, we've shown the FIMS 1.1 release, the FIMS uh, repository interface, the FIMS uh, QA interface, the FIMS stand code interface, and the FIMS AME interface. In the FIMS standardization process, the next thing that we're working on is a QC service that allows us to control QC devices to find out whether files are good or not. We're also working on automatic metadata exchange, uh, extraction processes, uh, so that we can extract things like scenes and face detection, and we can do speech to text from the content that we have. And the final thing that we're working on at the moment is timecode support, so that we can do partial file transfers and EDLs, and we can do transcodes with bumpers on the end. So at the moment, you, in FIMS, you can only transcode a whole asset, and this will allow you to transcode a partial asset. And we also, interestingly, have established a technology governance board. And this really is part of the maturation of the FIMS effort. As we have more and more different subgroups working on FIMS, we need a group that is really being sure that uh, the FIMS data models and other representations about FIMS remains consistent across those different efforts. So in short, the FIMS effort continues to evolve. The AMWA is delighted to be involved in supporting that along with our partners in the EBU and we're looking forward to the FEMS effort as it continues to grow.